What's going on, ladies and gents? This is Dot Connect Wednesdays, episode 64. Today is our official launch of the AI Visionaries Network. Today, we're going to give you guys an overview, some things to look forward to, some insights, some, some data. We're going to rock you guys out. All right. So, without further ado, let's dive right in. What's good? What's good? What's good? All right. So, guys, um, we kind of already know we, we, we did this talk a couple of weeks ago for, for whoever was on there, where we talked about just kind of our vision for the Academy changes and things that we're working on. Um, so AI is just taking precedent over just about anything that's out there right now. I mean, it's, it's holding up the entire stock market in the United States. So you kind of know that everything is tied to AI right now. So um, your future is in the hands of this technology and you have the opportunity to shape it the way you want. Right. The only way that we're going to be useful in the next, you know, I'd love to say we have time, but the way this technology is taking off right now, it is getting better by the minute, you know, and uh, we don't have that much time. So you guys have to start doing what they call upskilling, right? Starting to look at your industry, starting to research how AI and automation is changing your particular job. If, if there's advancement and room for you to grow within your company, you have to start looking at how that technology is going to replace that. So where the technology is going to start to replace, it, it's it's a it's a it's going to start from the bottom and it's going to work its way up to the top. OK, so if you're not in senior management positions or positions that overlook or oversee things. That technology could probably take you out, then if you are, they may end up just cutting staff so at that point now the only people that they're going to keep are people who are trained or can be trained to lean into the technology so why wait for that to happen you know it's here there's so many avenues we broke it down to you in the uh consultation um blueprint talk that we had we showed you what happened in the 90s so when you have emerging tech you have this there's two types of people out here the ones who are just going to be consumers and they're just going to wait to be told what to do. And then you got the guys who are producers. So whether you own your own business or not, the producer mindset should always be what you want to err on the side of, especially in these coming times. So once you can start putting some of these certification courses under your belt, on your resume, it's going to show intent, right? That's it. It's just going to show intent. Like this person wants to understand what it is. Okay. So the first product that we gave you guys was the seven free um, training courses from, you know, AWS, Google, IBM, Intel, IBM, uh, um, University, University of Harvard. Cal, Harvard, mm -hmm. and then Cal Berkeley. Yeah. Right. So each one of them have a series of courses. It's not even just one. A lot of them have like many courses. So that was the first one we gave to you guys. We told you, you know, maybe starting with the Google for everyone is probably the uh, the one I would tell you to lean into. We also posted a way that you can get financial aid. So it goes from, so basically this is how it, it happens. So with Google, Google for everyone, AI for everyone, it's a $2.99 if you want the certification. It's free if you don't want the certification, but you want to finish the course, right? But then you have to finish the course in a certain amount of days. If you don't complete it, then it automatically turns off the free option. And now you're only able to do a paid option. I realized as you keep going into the course, if you didn't pay the $2.99, it'll start sending you some discounts. But then one of our students, Ruth, she found a financial aid link uh, that she shared with us and then we shared with the group. So you can go from $2.99 to $29. And then I believe the Microsoft one went from 89 to maybe 19, right? But all that stuff was posted. And when you get inside the Academy, that stuff's gonna be in the platform. I'm sorry, when you get inside the um, AI uh, Visionaries Network, that's going to be inside of the uh, your training material, okay? So on that side, it's going to look like, if you're in the academy, it's going to look like the video tutorials, and then you'll have um, downloadable PDFs, okay? So when you guys get in there, I want you to grab the PDFs, and I want you to download them, and I want you to save them, all right? You don't want to be relying on technology and things like that. They're free. Take it, grab hold of it, take ownership of it, all right? Now, part of part of my vision 
for this when we set out to create this was I wanted to I wanted to build a community around it, right? Because there's I'm pretty sure now that you guys are on AI, everything you look at is probably AI ads. You're probably getting bombarded by things, mm -hmm. so you have to you know you have to have good discernment to know if the products are good or not. The key to the and I'm just going to call it AVN for short. So AVN is going to stand for AI uh, Visionaries Networks. All right, so I don't have to keep repeating that as a mouthful. So AVN. Um, is is a is a it's it's all community based and ran, right? Meaning we go out, we push each other, we get the certifications, we share, right? If you have a job interview and you got a job, or if you showed it to an employer, whatever the reactions are, good, bad, or indifferent, we need everyone to bring it back to the AVN group. This is how we're going to learn and grow together, right? I don't want this group to be codependent on Champ posting, codependent on Steve posting. This is a decentralized. A platform that we put together, no charge, guys. There's going to be some upselling in products that we have in-house, but for the most part, we're just looking for material and content to be able to share with the community, keep you engaged on what's happening. When we start to ask, you know, what industries you guys are from, and that's the very first thing. So if you signed up, you're going to get an email once we accept you. In that email, there's a, and I'm going to show you guys, there's um. We have a discussion channel called Introduce Yourself. And Money Mike, I didn't know about the rugby situation. So that was a cool, fun fact. Thank That's you for cool. sharing that. I had no clue. <laughs> this guy is this guy is special, man. <laughs> um yeah, so we'll we'll kind of I'll explain what that means in a minute. So let me just take you guys. I'm gonna share my screen in a minute, champ. If you want to just uh throw in a little something. I got you. Yeah. <clears throat> so guys, I've been leaning in daily, right? I, I've been taking my time and saying, how can AI impact me outside of the business? I just wanted to know for me, right? One of my passions is music. Steve always tells me all the time, it's like, hey, you got to lean into that. So I've been recording music since I was eight years old. And I came across some artificial intelligence platforms that are mind blowing. I literally thought about every single problem I've ever had in music. Almost every single problem has a solution for it with AI. And I can do it from my house, from the same desk that I sit at with my family and talk to. I don't have to worry about all the extras. It's right here at my fingertips. So when we say that AI is at literally the point where it's going to impact everybody, every industry. This is not made up. This is this is not us just pushing something. This is reality. And it's evolving fast. So you guys got to lean in. You have to dive in. This stuff is powerful. And guys, listen, when you, when you enter this journey with us, stay as close to your field of work or where you look to go in the future, because it can take you everywhere and everything could be a money-making opportunity, but we want to go deep and not so wide on this. So we're only going wide because there's, there's, there's a multitude of people from different backgrounds. We have medical, we have finance, we have people processing papers. My people who process papers, we got to get you guys up to speed quick. All right. So let me share with you guys. And for the Academy students, you, 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 if you know our platform, then you know this platform. It's all, it's all one of the same. Are we good on this? Yeah, good to go. So when you first come in, it's going to look like this, guys. For anybody new on here and for all my people watching the replay, this is what the framework of it's going to look like. So in here, we have discussions. And then we're going to have a video that's going to introduce you to the platform if you're new to it. So don't worry about like trying to get everything now. And we don't even have everything fully loaded just yet. Okay? This is kind of a soft opening. So in discussions, of course, we have channels over here on the left. Start here is where you're going to start. We'll have some videos in there to kind of explain what's happening, how you navigate it, how we post, how we interact with each other, the rules, the do's and don'ts. All right. And here is our learning tab. This is where you're going to have access to um, learning material. I actually have to take this down. Right. All the courses are going to be in here, guys. All right. So in the learning tab, this is where all the courses are going to be. Um, most of them are going to be free in here. All right. 
And here we have our members list. This is where we get to meet the people that, you know, that we're in this with. This is the community right here. Here we have a leaderboard. All right. We're going to work with this probably starting in October. This is just for engagement. There's different, there's points that are given to people at the top of the month for engaging, for creating new posts, for liking things. So you, it's a point system. So we're going to start to add rewards to people who are actually engaging. Okay. So they give like first, second, or third, you get the drift, right? So for discussions, the first thing you want to do when we accept you tonight is go to introduce yourself, right? Read here. We're going to ask, we're asking you for your name. It's optional, first name, nickname, whatever. Background, okay, current projects, your interests, your goals, and fun facts. And interests and goals, this is all AI related, guys. So, you know, particular area in AI that you're passionate about, um, what hope, what do you hope to achieve? Uh, any ongoing projects or ideas that you may that you may want to focus with, this is going to help us get a better understanding of who you are so we can curate the product and, and the assistance. All right. Champ and I aren't doing a whole lot of heavy lifting with the nuances of a lot of facets of, of, of AI. Why? Because we don't use every single thing. So it just wouldn't be authentic to us if we just try to teach you something that we don't use. All right. So the stuff that we put the Skype and stamp of approval on, just know you're in good hands. The stuff that we send you to Harvard and Google and those guys, I mean, who am I to tell you that you're going to get something bad out of those guys? You know, it. You, you're probably not going to miss, put it that way. Okay. And like I said, try to get as certified as possible, because if you take the course and you don't get certified, then it's kind of like, what are you going to put on your resume? Right. We still kind of live in a world where there's a piece of paper and it it matters, I guess. All right. So we're going to try to find the financial aid. It, you know, anything we find, we're just going to bring back to you guys and vice versa. If it wasn't for one of our students, I mean, I paid the most for that course, but that's fine. You know, you don't have to. All right. So the, 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 the group is fairly simple, guys. We're going to have some more channels that come on. We have a video vault channel. This is where any of our live talks would kind of go here. And, and we're not going to bombard you with too many channels. I think we're going to keep it nice and trim. Like Facebook, everybody throws in a mix. If you get in, you get in. Here's something I wanted to share with you guys, and I don't know how many of you are familiar with this. So there's a little bell here in the top right-hand corner. So if you're not in the group, you're fine because you're only going to get alerts and notifications for people that post in the AI Visionary Network. Make that your best friend when you come in here, okay? Because you just don't know what you're going to end up missing out on. And it could be life-changing information that's going to be flying through here. All right, guys? Understand this, I'm gonna say it one more time again. This is your only opportunity. And, and you can come on mute and dispute it if you want. This will be your only opportunity to shape the future that you want with this technology. I promise you that. Because we have guys making music. We have guys, you know, there's gonna be a new set of directors and producers. Uh, I just saw a campaign that was done 100% AI, and that was Adidas. They didn't use a live person, but this thing looked real, you know? And and it's just taking you to places where the, the visuals are, are, are going to be unmatched, right? And think about it. This is a guy behind a computer doing this stuff now, too. So this technology is eliminating the creators. And I, I don't like it, but it is what it is. When you start to see what could be created... At this point, we can be anything that we want to be. Y'all want to shoot a movie? You can shoot a movie. Don't know any actors? No problem. Don't, you know what I mean? It's like, that's what we're working with right now. And I'm not here to say, oh, I want it done the old way. I'm just here to say that you see why the movie guys were striking the last couple of years. This is what they were facing at the end of the day. So they're just trying to lock in a contract. But I'm going to be honest. They're done. You know, this technology is already scanning um, actors and actresses and 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 they're giving up their likeness to be in like multitude of movies without having to be on set so it's like you know those guys are going to be in a pretty good space at the end of the day but then they're going to start to probably put some new stuff on us right i'm seeing modeling agencies with ai models so just think about being able to create something and not even so much a real person but just the likeness of someone that could that can work for a multitude of people so the modeling world is going to be flipped upside down at this point now. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Yeah, avatars, anybody. 
You can you can create professional photos. You take one photo of yourself. AI technology can swap outfits. Think about people who are in retail or e-commerce. You can put up these avatars on you know on your websites without having to pay a model. So it's 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 amazing. Yeah, this thing goes deep, guys. Yeah, this thing goes deep. So we're gonna stay focused. The first thing we want to do is we want to get a, a strong foundational understanding of it. Now here's the kicker. These are some of the courses that we've been working on already. Just tell me if you can see my screen. We good? Yeah, we good to go. All right. And this is not in any particular order, but we're going to be releasing these this week, guys. We have the top 10 AI jobs, uh, job impacts in new roles. Okay. I'll get back to that one. Artificial intelligence consulting blueprint. Some of you have been introduced to it. Some of you bought it. All right. We have a free version of it, and then we have a paid version of it, all right? We have the seven free AI certification courses. That's going back up there. And then we also have um, what is artificial intelligence and then the consulting blueprint, right? Yep. So to start with the top 10 jobs, this was this was something that Champ and I compiled, the top 10 industries that are being affected by AI today, right? The top 10 agencies that are being affected by AI today. And then not only did we give you those agencies, but we gave you, uh, you know, I'll give you a sample of it, right? So let's say number one on the list was manufacturing, okay? We gave you job losses. We gave you the new roles that are replacing those job losses. We gave you ways to stay relevant. And then we also gave you the top employers for that industry. So if you fall into that industry, this is a good guide for you. Or if you're looking to even go into an industry. I feel like this is a good guide for you to be able to um, to shift, right? So going back to manufacturing, the job losses in here is going to be manual labor and production and assembly lines, okay? Quality control inspectors and then equipment operators. Those are going to be the first job cuts in manufacturing, all right? The new jobs coming are going to be AI um, maintenance specialists, automation systems engineer, and data analysis. So you could sit here scared and worried, or you could start shaping your future today with the content that we're giving you for free. How much? <laughs> 0, 0.00 cents. No credit card needed for that one. All right. So then after that, we, we tell you, so if you're in manufacturing, we're telling you certain ways, things you can do to stay relevant. So Vaughn, learn about robotics and automation particularly in industry settings, or industrial settings, sorry, develop skills in AI system management and machine learning to manage automated production systems, take courses in data uh, analytics to help optimize production processes and make AI more efficient. Mm -hmm. So my play on this is after we give you problem reaction, we're gonna get into the solution. Let's go. So we're gonna try to line you guys up with some good courses. Champ and I can't teach you this. All right, this is what this community is about. If none of us are winning, if all of us ain't winning, then none of us are winning. That's how I'm looking at it on this one. So I'm taking lead, I'm taking charge. Steve doesn't need these industries. I'll be honest with you. I kind of do what I want every day, but I do need AI. So I had we had one or two options when we thought about this. Fend for ourselves or throw a lifeline out to everybody else. When I say don't be dumb, I promise you, don't be dumb on this one. You could be a little ignorant on cryptocurrency, no problem. We'll circle back on that one soon, right? But this AI stuff, you 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 can't turn a blind eye to this. The worst part about it is if you have children that are younger, you don't shape your future, you're definitely not shaping their future. All right? There is no manual labor at this point. So that's what you're going to get out of the top 10 um, AI jobs that are being impacted today. I'll give you another one. Uh -oh. So transportation and logistics. That's that's one of the, that, that was actually number three. Um, number two is retail. All right, you guys, just, just in the chat, I'm going to go a one through 10 and then you guys just tell me which one you want to hear about right now without having to go through. So we did manufacturing already, right? Number yeah. two is going to be Retail, so drop a two if you want retail. Drop a three if you want transportation and logistics. 
Drop a four if you want finance and banking. Drop a five if you want healthcare. A six for legal services. Seven for customer service. Um, I have accounting at eight. I have media and journalism at nine. And then I have um, agriculture at 10. And then we're just going to tally up whatever comes out to be the most. What are you seeing, champ? Um, I'm seeing more fours. Four. Yeah, four yeah. was kind of heavy. Yeah. Yeah, four, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So four is going to be finance and banking. All right, cool. So the job losses are going to be bank tellers and customer service agents, loan officers and underwriters, financial analysts. Out of here. Out of here. Oh. Now, the new roles are going to be AI financial advisor. Think about this, guys. Hmm. You consult in that role, you could work for many people. All right. That's an expert who uses AI tools to provide personalized data-driven financial advice. Listen to me. There's tools for that. You don't need coding. All right. The second thing you could do to make yourself useful, um, algorithm auditors, professionals who ensure that AI-driven uh, trading algorithms comply with regulations and ethical standards. Data privacy specialists, individuals who manage and ensure the security of the financial data processed by AI systems. That's the number one drawback right now. This is why the whole world's not on AI. It's 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 the security part. Yeah. Okay. Make yourself useful if you're in finance. Staying relevant. Learn about AI financial analysts and how AI is being used to automate trading, risk assessments, and loan processing. Gain certifications in fintech and AI ethics to ensure compliance with federal and financial regulators. Guys, these are all easy courses to take. They're paying six figures. Do we know what the value of this AVN is? Drop a one in the chat. Actually, drop a fire emoji if you feel like we're on the right path together. And drop a doo-doo to get me off this line right now because I I can go back to my AI stuff. All right. Just want to make sure you put it. Oh, heat. Let's go. All right. So then we also gave you the top employers. I felt that that was important. Okay. So I'm stepping outside myself now, guys, because if this was for me, I don't I don't go this deep. Okay. Um, so we have uh, JP Morgan Chase, we have Goldman Sachs, and we have MasterCard. These are all people that are hiring for those positions up there for you to get certification. I want to hear those stories. Do not make me go out there and get a thousand jobs to show motivation. <laughs> all right. I'm not looking to do that. So this is this. We're going to upskill one day at a time, one person at the time at a time. And I just need you to bring it back to the community. That's it. And the other need and the acts that I have for you guys is bring other people into this community because I get the crypto part was a little bit tough, but I think your friends and family understand that this AI stuff is a little wacky and everyone is, 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 has a target on them right now. Okay. So yeah, that was, that's what you're going to get with the top 10 ones that we, we, we have like nine more that we're wheeling off. This is just what we're opening up with right now. Yeah. So to piggyback off the AI consulting blueprint, this is where we gave you 30. If you bought the book, we gave you 30 industries that you can start a, to become a um, consultant in, right? We gave you a ton of data what AI tools to use, how to market it, how to start it, who to market it to. So that one's a powerful one, but I don't want you guys just jumping right into that just yet. I want I want everybody to introduce themselves first. Uh, Champ, if you want, you can start to just kind of letting people in Okay. Um, as we're on this call or even tonight after the call. Yeah. Everyone who is pending is going to be approved. Again, there's, there's no lessons in there. We're going to start to release them this week. I'm thinking about doing our first call possibly Saturday. Every call, there's going to be a playback. Guys, I'm looking at the data and people are not engaged. I'm telling you, by the time you decide to do it because of a job loss, it's going to be too late because the first round of people that are upskilling are getting these jobs right now. Oh, we also have uh, NVIDIA. We have nine free courses from NVIDIA. People kind of say it differently, so I just want to 
potato potato right <laughs> so you know how i be bugging uh -huh. so we have nine free courses from them that's going to be added in this week also all right so i want you guys to get the um the the the, the higher level education and certification then what you're going to do with the academy is we're going to show you if you want to get into the consulting side we have a how to run your consulting business right i started to realize that some people don't know how to set up llc's um, how to create a website how to uh, create marketing right chat gpt is going to be a big one mm -hmm. we're going to start to dig into that i have about 60 industries with, with prompts and things like that, that we're putting together. So we're going to start to train you guys on particular industries. And then from there, you know, depending on who's where, this is why it's important for you to introduce yourself. If we have props for real estate, guess what? That's a good product for you. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you how I use chat. Champ will show you how he uses chat. And then we'll just start to, we'll start to create the conversation around it. I don't think everybody's utilizing it to the best of its ability. Mm -hmm. All right. So chat GPT is going to be a big one. We're going full steam now, guys, on the AI situation just to get everybody, you know, acclimated. For those of you who are, there's going to be some people more engaged than others. Okay. So think about it. If Google is telling you you can take this course for free, but not get the certification. And in the same course, you could pay the money and get the certification. Don't not do something because it costs money. The certification is what you're going to put on your resume as verifiable that you completed this course. Okay. So if, and when, not even if, when we decide to give you a paid product, it's because we know the value of the product. It's not up for discussion. If you're an Academy member, you're going to get discounts to every paid product we have. And there may be some Academy stuff that we just give to you guys on the Academy side, completely separate. So we'll start to identify what's what, what your discount is and then what you're going to get for free that non-members don't have access to without, you know, having to pay. What we have to realize is it takes a lot of time to compile this data. We just want you guys to get into the certifications and save the time. If you're trying to go to work full time and then do the research to figure out what's what and who's on first, you're not going to get through it fast enough. Okay. We've just kind of made it part of our, I would say our part-time job to our full-time job. Yeah. So we're carving out that space. We're going to be bringing people on to discuss with us, professionals within the space. We're going to bring pre we're going to be bringing people on who are actually using AI as business professionals. So you guys can kind of hear the stories of what they're saving time and money wise. Champ and I tell you our stories of how much time and money we save. I didn't want to let this one out the bag, but I, I and I told you guys this before, but we're working on a chat box for the Academy. Right. This is chat boxes are actually converting more than emails. So emails are dead in the future. Right. Somebody want to ask a question. They're not going to go to an email. They're going to go to a chat box. So all we're simply doing is we're we're programming our chat box, the same emails that you send us. How do we sign up? Cool. How do we cancel? Cool. How do we update this? How do we do that? Where's like that would be answered in real time. If the chat doesn't know the answer, it would then, we would code it to say, if this, then send us an email with the question. Once we answer the question, guess what happens? We go back into the chat box and we add that as one of the questions. These chat boxes can make you very, very wealthy when you start setting these up for businesses. You understand? Here's the part that I wanted to hold back. The Academy is going to be an agency. So we're going to sit at the top level of the agency. We're going to get everybody trained up on how to do this. When you start to purchase your chat box and the capabilities and the tools you need for that, you're going to come up under Skype and Academy. Okay. So when you come up under Skype and Academy, you're going to get top notch assistance, put it that way. All right. So not only are we going to train you on different industries, how, but then once you get the business package, you know how to kind of move around and set up your own business. But then if more people are telling me about these chat boxes, this is where it's at, guys. I'm telling you, think about it. Look how you're communicating with your bank nowadays. Look how the bank is sending you automatic texts, you know, texts when there's fraud protection and you say, oh, I did that or I didn't do that. That just replaced the job of a person. Of many people. Okay. So 
I'm excited about the agency part because there's not too many times that we've utilized the term, you can make $1,000 a month or $2,000 a month. Like we don't really operate from that paradigm. It's a lot of learning on this side. That's not really equated with um, what you can make right now. And because everybody's going through things right now, it, it's right now we got to start working. Okay. So yes, I have some clients already that I've identified that need the service. So I'm going to bring them in under the Academy. I'm going to show you how I'm working them. I'm going to show you how I'm pricing them. And then eventually I'm not interested in keeping that vertical going. So eventually what happens is if I see a student that's excelling, you're just going to get new clients. We're going to have a discussion about it, but I need to see that you're excelling. You know how to handle the client. Like, I don't want to hear anything once, you know, once I can show you that it's possible and you can make $500 a week with the right clients, you don't even need a whole lot of clients, guys. I'm just telling you, when you know how to utilize this stuff, you just sit in your industry. And as long as there's competitors, you don't care. Just, just help them out. And in return, you're making yourself more useful, more valuable. This technology doesn't require you to quit your job. I'm just letting you know that now. You can utilize these things and champ. How long does it take us to chop up five videos or one long form video? How long does it take? That fast. That's it, guys. You know what I'm saying? It's the organizing of the business, right? How do you deliver it to the client? Things like that. So we're gonna we're gonna assist with that. And then we need the feedback. So where you where where we're not filling in some holes for you guys, we need you to bring it back in conversation. Okay. We may not have all of it, but if we know what people are going through, what the struggles are, that helps us better assist. Okay. So we definitely need the feedback guys. Right now, I think the room is just shy of maybe 80 people. Mm -hmm. Get your friends and family in here. All right. Get them in here, guys. Trust me when I tell you this. AI agency, chat box, we showed you the platform. Champ's going to be letting people in. I see the I see the emails coming in, guys. I appreciate you guys signing up for this. If you're part of the academy, it's right there in your switcher, meaning you can see it. You just have to click join. Please, when you get in there, introduce yourself. If you don't introduce yourself, a closed mouth doesn't get fed. I'm not going to sit here and go too deep. I'm just dealing with the top 10 industries right now. And, and if you fall into those, you fall into them. If you don't, you need to say something. You understand? So chat GPT is going to be a good one. I think this weekend, let's circle back around again as a group to, uh, to just discuss some stuff. We'll have the um, training material up by this weekend. You should get an alert. Guys, check your emails. I'm noticing people with four or five emails. Oh, that email, I don't like really, I don't get emails from there. Or I signed up because don't give me the spam email box. If you're serious about this, let's go. We're going to be sending SMS text messages. What you need to do is when you get a text message from us, please label it either Skype Academy or AVN so you can know that it, it's of importance to you. Okay, please. We're going to have these talks, uh, you know, weekly. We're going to be dropping a lot of videos, a lot of, um, we're going to be sharing articles. And guys, when you find articles about certain industries, I want you to bring that back in engagement too. All right. And then we're going to gamify. We'll have a little bit of fun inside of there where we can do some giveaways for people who have the most engagement. To be honest with you guys, I just, I want people to be able to supplement their income or even replace their income to not have to rely on a job cut right now and to utilize this technology for what it is. So if, if NVIDIA is holding up the entire stock market, then that means that there's so much product and demand for AI product. Mm -hmm. So do not think that there's a bubble, right? I, I want you to, to take that. That's a misconception. They're just saying that to make people not fearful of the technology. There's not a bubble. What could, what will burst is the amount of products that are, that are in market right now. Yeah, I think there's a, there's a lot of products in market right now. And I think the cream will start to rise to the top when you start to get the Microsofts and you know, they start putting out their basket of C-suite products, similar like Gmail. It's like, where else would you go for an email? Just think about it. AOL. Wow. Some of y'all still got them AOLs too. <laughs> Yahoo. Yo, dollar joint. <laughs> oh, <what's that? laughs> Hotmail. Wow, wait. Wait. Oh, yeah. 
listen, I, I wanna I wanna I wanna piggyback on something you said. So uh, somebody in the chat mentioned this was fire. Is there gonna be a replay for this? Just so we loud and clear, yes, there's gonna be a replay. But before the call started, one of our students hit me personally in the background. He said, I was utilizing this so-and-so AI platform and I'm looking to quit my job. This is it. And he said, I'm going to bring my daughter on the call. He's front and center with his daughter on the call. If that doesn't tell you in this big billboard display, how powerful AI is and how impactful it is. And he works in a completely different industry than what he, you know, what he was using the, the AI platform for. So to see it, see the opportunity in it, get excited about it and be willing to walk away from the familiar, that's a telling sign. So one, I appreciate you for, for doing that. I ain't going to call you out on the joint, but, you know, appreciate you for doing that and understand, guys, this thing is impacting everybody. I'm now getting excited about this. It's not even about fear. It's not about nothing else. It's just the opportunity. You can come in, stake your claim, build whatever you need to, you know, add your contribution to the world. And you might create something super brilliant that's life changing for somebody or somebody's. And it's easy. That's it. And and listen, we're, we're, you know, I talk about the culture a lot, guys. So who else is going to build it for us? Nobody. Right. So we have an opportunity to see the market the way that most people don't see it. That's the good part about this technology. When I came up, it was, it was in the mid nineties and you needed to go to school for computer science. That was actually my first major. For those of you who don't know, I went to school for computer science. I didn't take it serious. If I would have took it serious, I would have noticed I would have saw how important it was later. I never connected the dots like that. So anytime I had a, one of my earlier products in the 90s, when I was first starting business in the 2000s, everything required some level of programming. And I didn't have that piece, right? So I kind of, you know, I said, you know, if, if it ever came back around again, I'm not missing that boat. And we're right back around again. And I'm on this boat, building it, fine tuning it, bringing people on. So please do not, miss out on this opportunity guys i'm telling you we have a new workforce that's being created right now they're trying to hold on to as much laborers as possible but we know within a couple years that's done mm -hmm. so if you have friends or family that work at the amazon you know centers if there's people dropping packages off at houses they have to start to supplement their income they have to get reskilled and and and, and upskilled all right. And it doesn't take much. Twenty nine dollars, nineteen dollars, free certifications. NVIDIA, you know, we gave you the story the other day about certain um, levels of positions. You know, some people got some packages and they got seventy seven thousand dollars worth of uh, NVIDIA stock when they started. It's all worth like it was like ten point four million dollars the other day. Yep. And these are employees. You know, and I, when I went to go look at what it took to get the job, it was just a certification. That was it. So I'm just telling you that the possibilities are endless here. Okay. The possibilities are endless here. So guys, there's a lot of AI products out there. There's a lot of people throwing things, you know, they're, they're all left and right. And the stuff is, it's a mixed bag of everything. And if you don't have organized thoughts or organized way to work, you're not going to be able to unpack a lot of that stuff. You know, I just nerd out like that. And I, I, I have an organized systematic way of seeing things and then turning it into a business immediately. All right. So I'm going to share a lot of that stuff with you with the agency thing. I'm looking, you know, it, it all depends on how far I want to go with it, but it, it can get to a point where you guys can have access to websites. You could have, you know, just kind of, a, I want, I want this to be a plug and play for a lot of people. I don't want to make it easy to where you think like, this is how life really works either. Okay. So just understand that there, there are some skills that you can lose in chasing convenience. All right. I wouldn't always opt for convenience, guys, because when you no longer, you know, when you're no, no longer in positions of time and things like that, then, you know, the skill set still has to um, still got to kind of show up. It'll be there. Yeah. All right. We're talking about a blank canvas right now. You know how you know how our people are always behind in technology. 
for those of you who know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, right? This is the opportunity, guys. I'm telling you, there's nothing else out there. The crypto stuff, we're on it. You're going to still be getting data on that stuff, but it's, it's one of those, you know, we, we everything's on pause until the elections. Yeah. You know, we'll have, a, we'll have a bull run before the end of the year is up though. But everything is on pause. Please utilize the time in here and not out there. Okay? That stuff, it doesn't matter who wins. They're not going to create jobs for you guys. You know, they're not going to create opportunity on either side for you guys. All right? So we're just in this together, guys. This is this is this is back to the statement I like people rely on people at the end of the day and this is what it is. AVN is just all about the people. Sky Academy is all about the people. Absolutely. All right? So again, for my for my members of the academy at 50 a month, if there's a paid product, you will pay differently. You will have your own discount. There will be some paid products that you will just get. We will post it on the academy side and, and, and you could have that. So you guys are always take precedent to this. But again, it's like anything else. If you like trading, you trade it. Most people didn't. So you find, you know, you find space where you find space. I don't think any one of us have the option to not do AI. Just by a show of hands, does anybody feel like AI is the biggest threat to their position in the workforce right now? Put a one in the chat and put a two in the chat if you don't think AI is like going to affect you at all. And if you put a two, uh, just tell me why you don't think AI is going to affect you. All ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dwayne, yeah, I just wanted to make sure this because there's always one. Yeah. You know, so I just wanted to make sure that we didn't have one in here. And there's nothing wrong with, you know, thinking that it's not going to affect you. Yeah. yeah, I'm in a good place where, like, I don't feel it's going to affect me, you know, negatively where I, like, fire myself, right? So when you have the ability to think, when you have the ability to move, you know, you're... I'm just a critical thinker. So I'm good in any generation. Past, present, future. As long as, you know, I've, I've always upskilled myself. Even as an entrepreneur, you have to. Um, two, because a lot of work I'm in. Yeah, this, this is my guy right here. So he's, he's in, he's in the, um, yeah, I get it. But, you know, at some point, Robots would be running the, the 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 penitentiary system. I got some I got some insight on that personally. Yeah, there's there's gonna be, you know, you could lock that down so easily with that one. I could definitely see, um, that whole thing being automated. And I mean, it's, the system is already automated mm -hmm. in a sense. But I can see where he's coming from because they have unions. Guys, start looking at the the power of the unions and how much they're starting to lose power now. Right. So I wouldn't be, I wouldn't feel so confident in unions in the next 10 years. Yeah. Because if you don't have people, who are you going to bat for? That was an old mob situation. You know what I'm saying? I, like, I don't, I don't, they're going to be the union over the robots. And robots ain't going to have feelings. They could work 24 seven. Yeah. You know? Um, but no, but, but that is, that is a, that is a safer of it, but not to be around in the next decade. I, I, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. They, they're already, they're already doing, um, you know, that, that type of line of work with drones and, and surveillance systems and automation systems that can lock and unlock doors and entry points and all, all kinds of things. So it's, it's kind of happening already. Um, can't replace can't replace the artistic and creativity the barbers are able to do. No, barbers, barbers is a safe situation where I feel here's the thing, guys. So with, with, with the rise of AI and stuff, you're going to get a rise in like craftsmanship is going to come back again. Okay. And not just any barber, right? Kev, just so you know, like I go to a shop where this dude is talking over my head Everybody that comes in the shop is talking to my barber. I'm like, yo, where's the etiquette in, in just this game right now? Yeah. So I ain't gonna hold you. If there was a robot out there, I, I wouldn't care to fire my barber in a second. 
I'm like, bro, I got to go. Stop talking to people. Why are you talking around me? <laughs> Why are you offering me a service and I'm paying you for it? So there's a lot of nutty stuff that goes in there. So if you're going to, if, if, if it's about craftsmanship and, and, and a skill, your customer service level, it has to be raised at that point now. Because there's a lot of people that would opt to just hire a robot. Yeah. You know, or opt to, to just automate processes within their company because we've, we've grown so like disconnected to humanity. So, but you're right that the, the barbers, the salons, you guys have some time, you know, and I would never want to see that go away, to be honest. But you got to remember, there's a new there's there's new people born every day that aren't going to be born into old traditions. Right. So we can't think like this new generation here, you know, won't put their head underneath something that's just going to line them up crazy. And within seconds. Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about a couple of decades out. Yeah. But I would never want to see that craftsmanship go away. Go away. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And that, that's pivotal for the culture. Like just, just to, to, you know, be able to talk and converse and that's, you know, borderline therapy. It's therapeutic going into a barbershop, bar yeah. building, giving life lessons to the younger kids, seeing them in there, you know, having structure. You give a kid five dollars, like, yo, sweep that up. Yeah. So like giving them discipline. This is this is stuff that they can't teach with robots yet. I just seen something earlier today. I, I, I seen some something wild with uh, open AI. They're mm -hmm. releasing a, a, a platform coming up in the upcoming weeks called Strawberry. And strawberry is is basically um, they're working for the robot or the AI itself, and they're training it so it has a, a level of personability and, and it can mm -hmm. understand. So now instead of just rapidly responding how you do with a Chat GPT prompt, now it's training the software to be able to relate to a person, think actually think about it, and then give you a, a accurate response. And then they're doing this in business, so now you're able to get consumer behavior outside of just the normal things that they're doing. So now think about that. You'll be able to converse and have conversations and the AI can solve complex problems personally and with business. This is wild. It's happening. Yeah. It, and it's a hundred percent retention on this call. 100. Everybody who's dropped off has come right back in. I've been monitoring you guys this entire chat. Everyone. That's a good one, guys. So listen, you know, we, we're, we're seeing and hearing so much in industries. You know, some things are a little far-fetched, but at the end of the day, we have lost touch with humanity. And this is why this is happening so fast. People will be accepting of automation, people, you know, robot making a salad. Like, you know, there's just not enough of us that would say no. You know, I operate in energy. I'll use it for my systems, but... If it comes down to like that thing touching me, mm -hmm. I'm cool. I'm I'm watch y'all. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So let's just position ourselves. Really, at the end of the day, we're just we're offering assistance to people who just don't have the time to 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 upskill themselves. And I'm telling you, in the 90s, the mid-90s, there was so much opportunity. And now that we have the internet, we're so connected to the world right now. If you get one client in one industry, that client knows a client that knows a client that knows a client. And all you're doing is duplicating these chat boxes, duplicating, you know, just, you know, just we got to run good business at the end of the day, guys. Right. And this is where I come in to assist in, in just, um, you know, getting everybody skilled up in, in, in just the business world because things do move kind of fast. All right. What else we got? Any good comments in there? Um, Q&A. If anybody wants to unmute. Yeah, I think that would be dope. Have you been letting some people in? Yeah, dash yeah. I, I let everybody in, so every everybody's been accepted. Um, so dash yeah, <laughs> this is so dope. He he wrote in the comment. He's a body double. He had to get off the call. He had to go to production and have a cast made of his body. He said I had to sign a relate a release. Who knows what this body will be used for? I said it could be to create a humanoid <laughs> with a with an AI brain. But this is this is dope. You you you're in the uh you're in a movie film. I mean in the in the movie uh industry. That's dope. That's the most affected industry right now. 
You know, just think about it. You're not even going to need body doubles. I don't believe half the stuff I see on television in the last five years. I've been saying that before I knew how powerful AI was. National Geographic, like a lot of the, the, the you know, I'm, I'm into that stuff. And I'm like, it's, this stuff ain't real, man. There's, there's no way. It's a great story. Yeah, and the visuals, you can't even tell, right? None of us are at the depths of the sea. Mm -mm. You know, none of us are in those jungles like that. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. I believe some of it is real, but most of it is B-roll. Yeah. Body double. That's dope. Right. <laughs> that's cool. Um, Rocket wants to know, he said, have you guys created your own large language model yet? No, not yet. That that Rocket, you need, if you're going to do that on your own, you need, you, you got to get with one of them Harvard courses and all that. They have those built into those. Yeah. Um, you know, the agency part is really just kind of plug and play, drag and drop, right? Not looking to build it from scratch. I'm, I'm, I'm not interested in that aspect. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I want to get it to the end user, um, as quickly as possible. And, 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 and on top of that, guys, there's going to be things that I think of that I won't have the time or bandwidth. So I'm just going to put that out to the Academy to say, listen, if anybody wants to kind of decide to do this, this is a market for it. I'm not looking to chase everything. Yeah. Right. To me, once the agency can get up to about 10 grand a month, I'm pulling back yeah. and I'm just maintaining. And then I'm going to start to distribute to whoever, whatever student is kind of showing up and, and, and is running, you know, business already proper. All right. So AVN has a, agency component to it where you guys would be working under us and 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 just kind of you know building out your business from there and again if you work full-time it's no problem these things don't take long to learn yeah you know you decide when you leave that job at that point when you start getting these clients that, that that's going to be totally on you but i would say use these jobs for as for as long as you can you know just just take the double bubble you know, because there's still insurance. There's, you know, there's, there's some things where they, they kind of matter. When you go into work for yourself, it becomes like, ah, oh, shit, I got to do everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't um, all that it's cracked up to be, man. So if you could, if you can get a couple part-time gigs in here and then you start to build some confidence, the biggest thing I want you guys to do is I just want, I want to be able to just spark people's curiosity in this. Right. So even if you're doing something, don't just stay stuck on that. Let's let's figure out how we how we take that to another level. Guys, we have a short year, a short period, because I'm saying in the next two years, the, the Googles, the, the Amazons, these guys are going to have like plug in plays for 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 people. They, they're coming to dominate. Yeah. So you want to create that personal agency touch. And, and, and before these guys start to like play around and, you know, if you think it, it'll happen. Yeah. Oh yeah, and that, that that neural link and all that oh, stuff. Oh yeah, it's 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 showing great strides. I mean, people who have never talked before can't operate with their hands or moving chess pieces. Like, you know, I'm not going to say anything bad about that situation. Um, but you know, to be able to talk to a loved one that's no longer there, it's like, you know, I, I don't know how I feel about it, but I, I don't feel bad about that either. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's going to be part of our reality. Don't close yourself off to it. Just just lean in a little bit. You don't got to deal with everything. You know, we're at the circus, so we don't have to deal with every clown in the circus. We might like certain aspects of the circus. Yeah. All right. But don't don't throw the whole thing out. That's all. Yeah, I like that one. That was a good one. Um, I'm going to take this this next question. This is good. And, and she asked it twice. Um, T. Bennett said, what about AI blockchain and tokenization? Absolutely. It will be impacted. Think about all the middlemen that are involved in a transaction. I'm not going to go too deep, but think about all the middlemen that are involved in any real estate transaction, right? You have paper pushers and you know all, all things in between. All of that stuff is going to be impacted by AI because you can use a software to be able to streamline the process. Smart contracts, all things, they're all going to be impacted. You can code it without having to have two people actually do this. You can have a machine do it snap of a finger and they're already working towards it. So with tokenization already streamlining the process, you know, modernizing the process, 
of taking real world assets and stuff, putting them on a blockchain, remove the people. Now you have less errors, less people need it. It's wild, man. Wild times. Yeah. Um, Jerry, Jerry, you had a question. Uh, hold on. Let me unmute you. Hey there, can you hear me okay? Yeah, absolutely. Loud and clear. Um, I don't mine is not really a question, but it's just a thought process for AI. I'm in I'm in healthcare, by the way. Um, for me, it's a little bit difficult to figure out where I would fit in. Um, what I do right now, um, there may be a few people that know what it is, but it's um, medical coding and compliance auditing, um, where I come in and I basically audit the coders that come in and make sure that they put the right codes on the account. Now, we do have an encoder that kind of what would I call it? Um, we're training it how to do the coding job for us. Um, we're training it how to select the codes as we would as humans to select the codes. So they already have that in there. Um, as you guys were sitting here talking, I was trying to think of how I could do, you know, what my company's needs are and how AI could fit in with what the company is trying to do and where it's trying to grow. I'm not 100% sure yet. So I'm thinking I probably would have to go through some other courses to kind of get an idea of, okay, what's out there? And, oh, how can I fit this in, you know, to healthcare with the company that I work for or the industry at large? Um, I know Steve showed it before with the Hippocratic uh, AI, which I showed that to my cousins that are nurses. And they just kind of look like, holy cow. You know, triaging is not, just from my own experience, triaging is not as deep as when the doctor actually goes to see them. It's basically just saying, hey, what are you here for? Hey, what's going on? Basically what the Hippocratic AI does. And I've worked with a lot of nurses that do triage. So that wipes out kind of a whole level of when the patient first comes in, especially to the emergency room and urgent care, and things like that. So that pretty much wipes out that first contact, first human contact by using Hippocratic AI. Um, I also thought about just having um, the Amazon store um, using AI in order to help to find products that would actually be able to sell pretty well on Amazon. Because um, I, I know I don't know how many of you guys are familiar with Lewis because um, I'm in his group for that, and I just got to thinking about how he selects his products, and I said you could probably teach an AI how to do that, and. That that really is the bulk of the time that you spend with an Amazon store is yeah. selecting the products. So if you're using AI to eliminate that portion, that saves you a lot of time. That saves you a lot of time and a lot of effort um, in having that to be something that's productive in a productive business. So those are the two things that came to my mind, but I still want to go through some more of the courses and see maybe where else I can fit in or what else I might say, hey, you know what? I think I can do that. I think I can build with that or make something out of it. Yeah. Now, nah, good points. So I'll, I'll break down the healthcare for you guys because that was on the list too. That was number five was healthcare. So I, I'll run that through to you guys. You'll have this this week anyway. Okay. And then I'm going to show you another product that we had. And it's, it could be for most, maybe some, but it's going to help you guys out individually too. So for healthcare, healthcare sector is being transformed um, in areas such as like diagnostic, robotic surgery patient monitoring and administrative tasks, okay? So AI powered diagnostic tools are enhancing the um, accuracy of medical diagnosis and reducing the need for human uh, radiologists. So if somebody's in radiology, that looks like they coming, they coming in smoking hot. Um, AI is also improving um, telemedicine, enabling doctors to uh, monitor and treat patients remotely. So my mom just went through surgery and she's done her hip two hips and two knees. So mm -hmm. now she's not even going to um, therapy like she used to in person. They're giving, they dropped off a bike that's like looking at her range of motion and that's it. But it's saving everybody money and time now, yeah. right? So she's basically an at-home therapist and someone's monitoring that in the background. So for all my therapists that are out there, like that's about to change. You can grab hold of telemedicine clients and you can make a killing doing that. All right? So, so this is guys, when I say this is free, 
And, and, and when you're paying, it's nominal. Like this is like the stuff that's going to make you relevant. Okay. So we all start losing our jobs. We start to see where the mental health of this country is going to go because everybody ties their well-being to their ability to make money or their job. So they say, okay. So tele, um, telemedicine, right. And so all of this stuff is going to reduce uh, medical roles and then create new opportunity in healthcare for management and data um, analysts, all right? So radiologists, this is the job losses and, and medical imaging technicians, gone. Administrative healthcare staff, gone. Medical, um, well, medical transcriptionists, gone. Okay, intake, those type of people, gone. Right, that'll fall under administrative. So the new roles are gonna be AI diagnostic analysis, um, robotic surgery technician, health data scientists, all right? And then in order to stay relevant, you need to learn healthcare diagnostics, healthcare data analytics, and robotic surgery systems. Those are the things you need to be skilled, upskilled on and add those to your resume right now, all right? I'm just telling you, the healthcare industry has been one that's never been really too affected by like technology from a mass layoff standpoint. It's coming, guys. Okay. And the wild part about the medical industry is you, that's a special skill set. You know, when you went to school for nursing, you're not going to like change oil in a car after that. It's kind of like, all right, where do I go from here? There's other verticals, guys. So I'm just telling you, go where you're celebrated, not where you're tolerated, or not where they not even need you. So let's not cry over spilled milk right now. If we know that this group was formed in advance and you want to start panicking the day of, okay. No problem. No deal. All right. And then the, the top employers, um, IBM, Watson Health, GE Healthcare, and um, Siemens. Those are those are the top industries right there that are hiring right now for those positions. So that's free. There's 10 industries in that. Now, here's the product that I think a lot of you would 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 enjoy. Again, the time is 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 of the essence for a lot of people. So we're champ and I are working on a um it, it, it's a one-on-one -on -one report, right? So you would come to us with your industry. We'll, we'll, we'll give you like an intake form and stuff like that. And then we'll, we'll spit you back a personalized report on your industry. Okay. Some of this stuff is like generalized. Now we're going to get deep down into your industry. We'll, we're going to do data and the research for you if needed. So our booking calendar is going to be open in a couple of weeks. We'll have some AI times and stuff like that. If you guys are interested, we'll have an intake form. And that one, of course, guys, is a paid service. It just it just stops you from because all the questions here are really industry specific stuff. Someone asks about the um, defense situation. Mm -hmm. is the, if the person's still on here, just put a one in the chat. Um, the, the person asks, how would it change the, uh, I believe that you know, defense industry with weapons and stuff. Yep. Right. So, you want to hear it? Here we go. Mm -hmm. So the first thing is going to do is autonomous weapon system. All right, AI will en enable the development of autonomous weapon systems that can make decisions in real time without human intervention. All right, I'm not going to go too deep. I just wanted to give you this sort of information. Uh, number two, improve weapon design, predictive maintenance and logistics, cybersecurity and defense, um, enhanced targeting and accuracy, surveillance and intelligence. This is what Champ was talking about, and Champ kind of knows this already because. Coming from that world, we're behind in technology. The military's not. Super. So can somebody pinpoint a bomb from across the world to hit any city that they want? Absolutely. How about a penny on the ground? Absolutely. Okay. You're coming from Russia? A laser can burn off burn off a, a, a hair on your face. From Russia. <laughs> I'm just making that clear. From Russia. Right. Absolutely. Okay. It, right now, it exists. All right. Um, human machine uh, collaboration and adaptive defense systems. So guys, we've done so much research. We have a lot of research tools. So if you want something that's going to be a little quicker and particular to your industry, if because the healthcare, we kind of flew over it. Now we can start to drill down. And I'm not saying that we can do every industry, but I believe there's a high number of them. If we can't find anything, then of course we, we're not going to, you know, we'll just give you your money back at that point. All right. Time is still time at the end of the day, but 
you know, right is right. So we have a one-on-one -on -one product coming up where, you know, we can sit and talk industry specific stuff, guys. I'm not making up, you know, I've, I've, we've been approached by some, some stuff, um, AI companion robots and things like that. Like we can show you maybe classes and things like that, but I'm not lining up with a whole lot of things that are happening out here. So I might just say, listen, I'm not partaking in that one. Let's, let's keep humanity alive for as long as possible. Can we all agree? Hey, <laughs> Hop's laughing. A must. <laughs> um, this AI shit is crazy. You know, they get certain websites. They, they couldn't get it because of the caption codes. Yeah, yeah. There's so that's the other thing, Rocket. You know, there's a lot of security and layers. Um, that that's gonna pose to be, you know, some of the issues of integrating it. In, in current systems. Um, but yeah, this this stuff is about to be unreal. You're 100% right. That's all I have for you guys today. Everybody should be in the AI group as we speak. The first thing I need you to do is I need you to go to uh, that first post and to introduce yourself. Don't start anything new. A couple of you did, no problem. But just go right to, um, go right to the Welcome to AI Visionary Network and introduce yourself there. Okay, that's the first thing I need you to do. So I'm going to pin this to home. And I'm going to pin it to the channel. So that way it always stays at the top. And guys, when you see something featured, that's always going to be the most important things. And I can kind of show you what that looks like. Can you see that, champ? Yep. So right now, anything in this section under discussions that's featured is always going to be up here. So that's that's the actual post. All right. I love the rugby situation. We have interior decorator in here. And they're looking to move out to Thailand or possibly Africa. This is cool. I, I, I appreciate you guys doing this. And Wayne, I had no clue you could juggle. Wow. Like juggle, juggle, or just juggle? Let me see. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> Oh, he ready. He ready to put it on the shelf. I mean, if you're going to really, if that's a fun fact, then prove it. Let's go. Money Mike, you don't look like a, you don't look like a tough rugby player, man. I don't know, man. Them, them, them Aussies might be, they might just run through you, brother. Right. <laughs> he like, nah. <laughs> There's a reason they don't let us in that one. <laughs> look at Wayne, guys. Hold on, hold on. Let me bring him up. Hold on, hold on. Hey, hey. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, with the pickup. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Right. I, 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 listen, that's a fun fact. That's definitely a fact, and that was fun. Listen, we're going to leave on that, on that tip, Wayne. Thank you for taking us out on this, champ. If you got anything to, to kind of bring us out on. Nah, listen, man, this this call has been incredible. <laughs> we greatly appreciate you guys and all the energy you guys bring, uh, you know, giving us insight, sharing, you know, little things about yourselves. We appreciate that. We're going to continue to grow this academy. We're going to continue to deliver and give you guys work. Um, this is Dot Connect episode 64. We went over top AI, uh, top 10 AI jobs and impacts, AI consultant blueprint, the seven free certification courses, what is AI that... Um, AI Visionaries Network group that just got formally launched today. And listen, this is what we go, this is what we're going to continue to do. We love y'all. See you on Saturday, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna open up a time for Saturday morning. If you can't make it, there's always a replay. There's always a replay. So Saturday morning, guys, one more thing. We're gonna set up a calendar. All you have to do is connect to our calendar and get all the alerts in real time before we actually set the alert out. If you get a text message from us, please save us as a contact and put us in your favorite. I don't know another group that's putting together something as powerful as this. So we did it once with crypto and we're still in crypto mm -hmm. and now we're doing it AI. All right. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to take charge and take lead on this. Love y'all. Champ. Good work. My God. Appreciate you. My guy. <laughs>